Ten. Sorry, am I <laughs> fucking hell? You didn't get that scared, huh? <laughs> no. Yeah, I probably look more scared than you did. Yeah, boy! New <sighs> New couch. Who this? What is up, you guys? And welcome back to another video. In this video, we're basically trying to find out if the Santa clothes are really worth it. Quick spoiler alert. Probably not. They're probably not worth it. Yeah. We've all heard that money equals style. The more expensive an outfit is, the better it is. As Gandhi once said, how much is your outfit worth? I don't know if Gandhi said that. It would be sick though if Gandhi had said that. Now before we do get into the video, I want to give a massive shout out to ShopTagger. Now ShopTagger is an app that I've worked with previously and you can have it on your phone or as a Google Chrome extension. Let's say I want to buy this sweet, sweet chambre skull wool Gucci varsity cardigan. So what I can do is I can click this button up here, shop tagger button, and then it says the product, I'm a size large, notify when any price change. And then I can add to a list if I have a list. Add it to a watch list. And then if this cardigan goes into sale, it could be 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%. Every time it goes into more percent discount, I basically get an email or notification telling me it's gone into sale so I can go in and buy it before someone else buys it. Did that make sense? Hope it makes sense. What ShopTagger allows you to do is to create a long list of products that you keep an eye out for whenever sales start, like the Mr. Porter sale coming up soon, Essence, Antonioli, and you name it. You can basically be the first to know if your items have gone into sale and then be the first one to buy them at their now discounted price. A new feature ShopTagger has introduced is the coupon. Coupons found and you can press apply coupons and then ShopTagger will automatically test every single coupon it can find from the store you're looking at. And then if it's possible, you'll basically get an additional discount. Genius, mate. Genius. It's free, it's sick. I use it every month before every sale. It's an amazing tool. So click that link in the description, download ShopTagger and then let's get into the rest of the video. Anyways, right here on this beautiful couch, I've got three shirts. Not as in free, as in they were free, but as in free. I can't speak English, okay? I, I, don't, I never understood how people, how do you distinguish between free, as in free money, or as in free, as in the number three? I don't get it. We've got three shirts. The first one is this shirt from Pull and Bear. This is basically a tie-dye print shirt. It is made from a 100% viscose, made in Tunisia. It's not really the nicest in terms of quality. However, it's a shirt with a print on it and it's very affordable. Basically, high street store. Next up, we've got this beautiful shirt from Folk. A bit more expensive, but not like disgustingly expensive. <sighs> Ooh, mozzarella pesto. This is basically a printed shirt with the same print on the front as the back. It's made from 60% linen and 40% cotton, made in India. I think fit is really nice and it's very comfortable to have on. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. And then last, we've got the shirt from everyone's favorite brand. Everyone's favorite designer, Virgil Abloh. Off-white shirt, but Magnus, it's uh, more blue and green then off-white, you copy there, mate. Haha, <laughs> yes. Basically, you've got one boat here, one boat here, boat here, boat here, boat here. So it's the same design, repeated, but in different sizes. 100% cotton, made in Italy, feels really nice. Bit heavier weight than the fault one, basically. Wow. You got heavy ass, man. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> Oh, you do that thing where you spin him like out into the <laughs> green screen. <laughs> We can't see the labels. That's off white. That's expensive. 
Oh. That's a good shot. Yeah, that. Feel that one. Now this is the drip. That is horrible. This is the drip. The drip. <laughs> is it rayon? This goes. Oh, that's cheap. That's very cheap. This is a 150 pound shirt, for sure. 150 pounds. Yeah. What are you saying on this one? I'm going to say 169 and approaching 200 pounds, but not quite. This is 435 or something. This, oh, this, yeah, that's no, this, going to be a nice like, shirt, man. This is the drip. That's a good shirt. That's, I think that's the best shirt. I prefer this one. This is going to flow nicely in the yeah, summer. That's a good shirt. You know what I mean? Soho House, Shoreditch House, wherever you want to be. <laughs> wherever you want to be out of the two of them. That's over 400 quid, isn't it? Four, 419? Yeah. 150, 450, 50. Yeah, yeah, about, about that, about that. Pull and bear, finest, 20 quid. That is cheap. Full shirt is uh, 165. I was close. You were close. I was very yeah, close. Yeah. You said what, 450? Six. Is 470. Okay. Okay, we're well, quite close though. Do you think the shirts are worth it? I mean, is anything worth, worth 400 no, pounds pay, a shirt? I'd pay, I'd pay 300 quid for a double top shirt. These shirts, these shirts aren't cheap, these cover ones. That's right, guys, cover I think that's expensive. No, that's, that's all right. No, I think that's, that's expensive, right, don't, don't you? Mm. It's similar to what you're paying for a Stussy shirt, but that's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's, got, that's got a bit more weight to weight, you know what I mean? Would you pay 20 quid for this shirt? Yeah. Um, if you would buy it at all? I, I, to be fair, I wouldn't, 20, buy, I wouldn't buy it, but for 20, 20 quid is 20 quid. You can't get an Nando's for that, you know what I mean? No. So it is what it is. I think if it was, if that was shirt was like the material and whatnot, but not have this stupid pattern on it. It looks a bit art attack, doesn't it? It looks very art attack. It looks a bit like you've gone paintballing. The Fox shirt's probably the, mo like the most shirt. worth it out yeah. of the three. I like that shirt. Do you think the uh, off white shirt is worth it? Nah. You probably got it for free though, for the video. You paid, for, you paid, you paid that for it. <laughs> I'll tell you which one I did get for free though. <laughs> 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 any, do you have any closing words? Um, follow Kate McCrum's Instagram. That's a classic, you know, that's, that's a classic. classic. You gotta do that. You gotta do that with you. Yeah. I've got nothing more to say. So the thing about clothing in terms of the quality and the price, we basically look at a diminishing returns chart. Nice one, Magnus. What is this? A uni presentation? Is this a uni essay? At the bottom, where you'd have the Pull Bear shirt, you basically get a cheap product for a cheap price. That's what I just said. You basically get a cheap product, which is not that great quality. Then moving up, you hit the point of optimal results, which is basically a mid-range price item at a significantly higher quality. And then last, we've got the designer stuff, which is where you've got a higher price, but not that much better quality than the mid-range item because the branding is more expensive. If you want to look at it in terms of a quality perspective, you should spend your money in the mid-range because that's where you get the optimal quality for the optimal price. When we reach a territory of designer, like Off-White, Gucci, Prada, you name it, it might not necessarily be that much better quality than, let's say, folk stuff or other mid-range brands. I don't always think that very high-end items are that much better for the price, but that's more a discussion of how much shmoney you've got. How much, how much cash you can splash on stash and trash. Wow, horrible. However, this is where Shop Tire comes in, because what if you could get off-white branding, Gucci branding, Prada branding, but at discontinued or discounted prices? If I could get this shirt for half price, then I'll probably buy this shirt over this shirt. So I basically make my lists of stuff that I'm really interested in, and then whenever it goes into sale, I'm the first, the first in line to scoop up some fat steals and get some bargains made, some bargains. ShopTiger is a really good tool. I have linked my list of stuff that I'm keeping an eye out for down in the description box below. So you can check it out if you want to. Please don't buy the stuff that I'm looking at because then I can't buy it, basically. I don't know why I gave you guys that list. Maybe I should've just never told you about it. I just kept it to myself. Please don't buy everything, at least. But yeah, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Linen shirt, hella fuego. Off-white, close second, real nice design. Very steep in price, like 470 pounds. It's a lot to spend on a shirt. And I actually think it's disgusting, to say the least. Last, we've got the Pull Bear shirt. I don't mind the design, but the form is not very flattering. Doesn't fit that nicely. And it basically just like a festival shirt. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know what you think is the best shirt. Let me know if you think designer clothes are worth it. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace, mate. Peace.